Welcome to Outlaw Edge. Well, it's been way too long since I've been out in the woods. So I'm going out in the woods today. And it's like four degrees out. So this should be pretty nice. But these uh, Kamek boots, snow boots, are badass. Got these for Christmas from Heidi. And uh, they have uh, the nice inserts and all that. And so far I've been wearing them and oh, they're amazing. And I like it because you can cinch them up and put your pant legs right over the top of them. When you're out in the woods and you know if you put your pant legs over the top of them it keeps the snow from going in your boots but these are so tall that most of the time it's not so bad you know you can walk around on the snow and not you know get the snow in your boots but if you put your pant legs inside of them um and you're out in the deep deep snow then you got the snow shooting down inside your boots and that's all bad but what i'll do is uh when i get out in the woods i'll film some more we'll see what happens Cold dummy. Hey, watch the axe. Watch the axe. Do you see him? Watch that. <laughs> oh, look how deep the snow is right here. Sorry about the crappy camera work. I'm trying to show you guys how deep this snow is without. Here, hold my gloves. <clears throat> pretty deep and my dog just got snow in my gloves awesome well we're going out to make a fire and make some coffee and ah shush and uh we're gonna get out there and it's gonna be a long hike because this pack is heavy i got a new pack and i'll show you that when i get there it's a rugged exposure or some crap i don't want to do this pretty cool pack though fits super nice frame pack and uh I'll show you some more when we get out there. I'm probably gonna find my body this this spring or summer out in the woods. Oh, now you see why I was wearing those new snow boots. I should have worn some uh, snow shoes. <sighs> I'll get right here so you can see how deep the snow is. What, baby girl? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're almost to our spot. It's right there where those spruce trees are. So I got in this open spot where my shelter is. And it's like all windy. You can see this is the this is the tree that we whacked down last time to make a shelter. I like how the snow's sitting on me. Oh, well, my hands are cold. So I'm gonna clear a spot, get a fire going. Set up a windbreak. I'll be back in a minute. Well, I was going to build a shelter, but after cutting up all this firewood, cut up a bunch of it over there, too. After cutting this stuff up, I'm all sweaty and I'm trying to just kind of warm up without without uh, starting to shiver and get cold because it's really cold out here. And Lily's cold. Her feet were hurting, so I have her Mexican blanket that I laid down there. So she's got that all set up. So that's kind of nice. And uh, this new pack that I'm carrying is a rugged exposure. And it's a Delta 65 badass pack. Really, really like it. This was a gift from my dad and my uh, evil stepmother. Um, <clears throat> it was really cool. He was going to sell it to me. But instead, he decided to give it to me, I guess, for my birthday. So, whatever. That's what it is. But, love the pack. But, uh, Mikey, Mikey's Sharpening, New Jersey, on Instagram. He sent me this knife, which is really cool. This was a gift from him. And I thank you so much, Mikey, because I know you're watching. And it's an Elk Ridge. It's got a nice little leather sheath and stuff. And I've actually been carrying this as an everyday uh, EDC, an everyday carry knife, because I like the size of it and everything, and it's super sharp. Um, it's, you know, it's regular, like, uh, 440 stainless steel, 
but for me that's good because that's something that I could beat on and use every day and not worry about hurting it you know because it's easy to sharpen back up and put an edge back on it so it's no biggie but been using that and uh, I'm out here right now I have my old Gambles Artesian axe and I'm getting ready to sharpen that because uh, Mikey sent, sent me a, a, a couple other knives a Gonzo and a Buck um, a Buck bandage and a Gonzo Firebird I guess it is knife and then he also sent me a puck for sharpening axes so that's what i'm doing out here today i'm gonna sit by the fire relax just uh enjoy the view and i love how that wind goes through those trees and makes that sound like that I'm not sure if you can pick that up This is why I come out here, right here. Clear my head. I have a lot of problems with my head, always messed up and stuff, and hearing things and whatever. And I'm not going to get into that, but when I come out here, it kind of goes away. I just, I don't know, it's like it clears my head and I can think about nothing. Not stressed out, not thinking about nothing, just relaxing. Not thinking about life. Sit here, listen to fire crackle, sit with my dog. I was gonna set up a shelter, but when I was looking around, it's so beautiful. I, I figured that I'd just sit out here and kick back by the fire. So I'm gonna get this uh, pack opened up, and then I got this other uh, Boy Scout hatchet that Heidi got me for Christmas. Thanks for hiding that, Kevin, because <laughs> I know you're watching. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try that out here too, and uh, probably sharpen on that a little bit with that axe buck that Mikey sent me. But I have all kinds of goodies in my pack. I have some Gatorade and some coffee and all kinds of stuff, so I'll probably get some coffee going. I'm getting thirsty right now, so I'll probably suck down a Gatorade, and then when I, when I start cooling off a little bit, getting cold, um, I'll get some coffee rolling. But my dog's over here eating brush and bushes and dirt and everything else. Lily, come here. Come on. Hey, come on. Come here, dummy. All right, well, I'll film some more today. Lily, come here. Come on. Hey, you need to listen, dummy. Come on. Let's go. Get over here. Let's see what daddy. Come on. come on. Sit. Sit down. Hey, don't lick my face. So this is what I'm doing out here. Sitting out here kicking back with my dog, getting ready to have some coffee. And uh, I got this uh, axe puck from Mikey. From Mikey's knife sharpening. Stop. Stop. And, uh, you know, you can sit here and sharpen it like this. And that's what I'm going to do. And this is a really badass little, little uh, hatchet that I got from Heidi. And this is an old Boy Scouts of America hatchet which is really cool. There's a crack in the handle, but I'm gonna put a new handle on it. Just haven't had time. And then the guy's name is like right here somewhere, engraved in there, or punched in there. There's a couple different spots where it's got numbers and stuff on it, but it's pretty badass. And uh, I'm gonna test this out in the woods today for a little bit. And then same thing, I've got this uh, Gambles Artesian, and it got some rust on it and stuff, and I've been out here beating this thing up. So I'm gonna sit out here and clean it up a little bit. And it's already like a razor. I mean, I have it super sharp, and then when I get this all cleaned up and smooth out with the uh, puck, um, I'll strap this on my belt. Um, the belt that I wear on my pants all the time, I have a uh, stropping compound, or, you know, a sharpening compound on there, whatever you want to call it, and it uh, works really good. You know, that way, I always keep my knives sharp on me at all times. I don't carry a sharpener for my pocket knives because uh, I always have my belt on. And I just drop them and make them like a razor again. Oh, that smoke's going out of my face. But I appreciate you guys coming out here today with me and hanging out. You cool? Huh? Hey, dummy. Huh? <laughs> Poor thing. It's cold, huh? I'm going to stay here with Daddy for a little bit. Anyways, I'll film some more in a bit.
Not sure if you can see my Stanley cook set in there. Just so I can warm up some water for the coffee. It, it should be boiling pretty soon. And these uh, Capic boots, they're amazing. Really tough and durable and they have a lot of adjustments and stuff on them. And they're rubber and then they have like this Cordura stuff here. My feet are nice and dry. And by putting my pants over the top of them, my pants got a little bit wet, but they're, you know, from here up, they're dry and I can't feel the wet spot on my legs. And these are insulated pants. <clears throat> Excuse me. But these uh, Cavic boots, you know, I'm not sponsored or nothing by them, but, uh, you know, this is, if you're going to go out in the woods, you need to have some good boots, some good shoes, because your feet get wet and you're cold out here and then you're screwed. On a day like this, I mean, you can get frostbite easy. It's not that cold. It's, uh, it's like what was it 13 degrees when I came out here and I think it's a little bit colder because of the wind chill but you know you can get yourself in trouble quick if you have wet feet or wet hands and your or if your head gets cold you know that's why you always want to wear a hat and gloves and nice boots just to protect yourself but I really like these and like I said these were a gift for Christmas from Heidi they're amazing Super stoked about those. My old boots, every time I'd wear them out in the woods, my feet would get wet and soaked and cold, and then, and then I'd just be in a bad, bad shape. Where are you going, dummy? Lily, where are you going? You're knocking all my stuff over. <laughs> Knuckle here. Where are you going? Huh? <laughs> I think she's cold. So nice out here today, though. 